Hey there. Today I'm sharing Roger's diffusion of innovations theory, a foundational concept that helps us understand how new ideas and technology spread within a social system. This theory was developed by Everett M. Rogers, a communication scholar and sociologist, first introduced in his 1962 book, Diffusion of Innovations. His work was influenced by earlier research in anthropology, sociology, and marketing. Rogers' theory outlines the process of how, why, and at what rate new ideas and technologies are adopted. Let's break down the key components. First, we have the innovation. This is the new idea, product, or practice being introduced. Next, communication channels. These are the means by which information about the innovation is transmitted, whether through mass media or interpersonal communication. Then there's time. The adoption process unfolds over time and can be divided into stages. Lastly, the social system, a group of individuals or entities that are interconnected and influence each other. The adoption process involves five stages. Knowledge, becoming aware of the innovation, persuasion, developing an attitude, positive or negative, toward the innovation. Decision, choosing to adopt or reject the innovation, implementation, using the innovation, confirmation, continuing to use the innovation after confirming its benefits. Individuals adopt innovations at different rates, categorized into innovators, 2.5%, risk takers, and the first to try new ideas, early adopters, 13.5%, opinion leaders who adopt early and influence others, early majority, 34%, deliberate individuals who adopt innovations before the average person, late majority, 34%, skeptical individuals who adopt only after most others have done so, laggards, 16%, traditionalists, resistant to change. Key attributes of an innovation that affect its adoption rate include relative advantage, compatibility, complexity, trialability, and observability. Now let's talk about applications in nursing. Rogers' diffusion of innovations theory is widely used to promote the adoption of evidence-based practices, technologies, and interventions. This includes the implementation of new practices, patient care technology, health education, and interdisciplinary collaboration. In nursing, understanding the categories of adopters helps in targeting interventions and tailoring communication strategies to improve the uptake of new practices. However, the theory has some limitations. It often overemphasizes individual decision-making, underestimating organizational and systemic factors. It assumes a linear model of adoption, which may not reflect real-world complexities. There's also a cultural bias developed in Western contexts, and it focuses more on adoption rather than the sustainability of innovations over time. By applying Rogers' diffusion of innovations theory effectively, Nursing leaders can enhance the adoption of innovations, improve patient care outcomes, and streamline healthcare delivery. But remember, addressing its limitations requires integrating complementary frameworks and adapting strategies to specific contexts. Thanks for tuning in.